What's up YouTube? It's your boy Catman with another video. And today I wanted to show you guys the build that I personally use in Pro-Am, Stage, all that. And what I think the best point guard is after the patches, after everything. So I really do think this build is the best build in the game. I'm going to show you why and kind of explain uh, the attributes, the statistics, and kind of go into detail on why I use it and show you guys my animations after. So just like real quick, let's get into it. So you make a point guard, you go 6'4", I think 6'4 is, um, I go 6'4 because um, it's a little taller than most guards and the way the badges work is you can actually shoot over um, people if you're tall enough. So you want to be the tallest you can be with the most height. Uh, yeah, you want to be the tallest you can be and have the most attributes with your height. Weight, I go minimum weight for speed purposes, try to get more, the most speed you can. And 6'5 wingspan, you're going to go with a 6'5 wingspan because you want to get, uh, you want to be able to get a 98 three-pointer. First, we talk about driving layup, okay? You want the 80 driving layup so you unlock the Trey Young um, layup package, okay? The Trey Young, uh, I know we've been playing the game enough, but the Trey Young has floater, a floater package, a layup package, a scoop package that is pretty much unguardable. So that's how we go driving layup. It's very hard for centers and people in the paint to defend that. So that's always great to have, and that's why I went 80 driving layup. Driving dunk. Now, I went 40 because I like the uh, the CJ McCollum dunk package that you unlock with it. Um, so that's why I went 40. You can go 36, but I think if you go 40, you activate more standing dunks. Um, I know that's been a thing, and I personally feel like the higher your driving dunk, the more likely you are to get standing dunks, which is why my standing dunks are 65. 65 gets you those elite um, standing dunks that I'll show you that you get. So uh, that pretty much ties into that. And obviously it gives you, you know, slithery, um, yeah, silver. And then I think you also get a giant slayer gold. Yeah, so. And also this is super important, having Pro Touch Hall of Fame. That badge was really good. So that's why my finishing is set up the way it is. Now if we go over to shooting, 84 mid-range shot. And obviously in my previous build videos, I had a 98 midi. Um, you only need gold midi magician to hit midis consistently. Silver, it makes it hard. Hoff is really, really, really good. But I think you need gold to be consistent. And to be honest, 98.3 is way better than 92. That gold limitless allows you to shoot from deeper. Um, I think they updated the game. And having Hoff Agent 3, you can kind of shoot moving shots in that Pro 2 fade that I mentioned in my other video um, consistently. So definitely... Definitely 98.3 is, is the way to go, for sure. You get all these badges, Hall of Fame. Um, and then 90 free throw. I know a lot of people uh, kind of just put their free throw on 70 or 99 or whatever it is. Um, I recommend 90. I think the gold free points, you know, you're going to hit free throws at a very high clip. You know, I think you're going to hit it 95% of the time. Um, yeah, so do that. Pass accuracy. So pass accuracy you really only need 77 so if you want to mess around you could put this down and put it put it else put it on something else i went 78 just because uh i've always had an 80 pass hack or higher um and this time i went 77 uh, 78 because 77 was fine my other builds i really just wanted uh bronze needle threader uh so you get that at 77 and 78 was just to you know put the cherry on top to make it look better so but you only need 77 you could add it to other things um, ball handle, you want to go 95. Um, obviously, you know, I can talk about all the badges, but I'm pretty sure at this point in the game we know the badges that are unlocked with it. But I go 95 ball handle mainly to get the Steve Francis uh, escape package or size up package, yeah. And uh, 90 speed with ball, okay? So you basically get all, you're able to get all the SIGs. Um, you have a gold speed booster, which is fine. You don't need 95, uh, it takes too much to get it. Um, the Hall of Fame speed booster, I mean, and. Yeah, so I have a 95 ball handle, 90 speed of ball. Uh, you unlock all the dribbling sticks, so now you can be a shifty guard, shoot it from far, and dunk, okay? Now your defense, you know, it's tough to have everything in the game, but I managed to get off-ball pass bronze with the 58 perimeter defense, okay? But basically, you know, if you're a guard and you're playing my position, you're pretty much not guarding the other team's point guard or whatever it is. You know, if you have to, you can bump it a little bit, but with this right here, it just gives you enough to contest shots, play cuts, and uh, basically do the things you needed to do. 
So like what a lot of people like to do is because you only need 77 pass sack, they'll just put their interior up. So you know they'll get like one of those um, fluky jumps and then I think you put your free throw up a little more. So this is another option to do um, if you care about getting paint styles. But I honestly think if you have the 30 and you jump properly, you get it. So it's all preference. But now let's talk about the physical. So speed, 86. 86 speed gets you the um speed gold speed booster i went 84 excel you can go so like you can do this build on 83 and like let's say you wanted to put 30 like you can kind of mess around with anything like this okay so you can mess around from the most part anything you want to put up but use this as your base like these attributes i personally think having the extra physical was always my thing like try to max your physicals as much as they can because you're also going to get the gatorade boost so definitely um put your speed and acceleration as high as they can go so i go 86 84 you get your gold speed booster um the strength is 30 because your layup is high i'm pretty sure vertical 56 I just left it because the dunk and then stamina you definitely want to have a 99 stamina at this position to get hall of fame handles for days you're gonna be dribbling the ball a lot and yeah so this is the build let's see what it comes out to be just to show you guys really quick all right we got darius garland trey young and kenny smith those are pretty good especially like 2k um to be converted those in a 2k game that's really good because um of their skills and uh signature packages that they get so now i just want to show you guys like kind of the the six that I use. So like I said, pass style, you're gonna do none, dribble style, Kyrie, signature size up that Steve Francis, that's with that 95 ball handle gets you regular breakdown combo, Scoot Henderson, aggressive breakdown combo, John Morant, escape moves, Trey Young, combo moves, Stephen Curry, crossover, John Wall, behind the back, Jamal Murray, spin, Kevin Durant, hesitation, Kobe Bryant, step back, Steph Curry. Um, also, if you don't like Steph Curry step back, he has a, uh, a bit of a slower package. A lot of people like John Wall, so you can alternate with that. For my jump shot, I use, still use the same one, Curry base, Oscar uppers, max speed, free throw, Steph Curry, layup style, that Trey Young. My dunks, for if you want to see the dunk packages that I use, I use rim, razor, I use the hangs, and then I use all the standing dunks. The 65 gets you the elite basket rim pulls that I was talking about. This one's really good. That's why you went 65. And then you get the CJ McComb dunk packages. That's always really good. And then I have my Pro 2 dribble pull up. And then this hop jumper is really good. I recommend this to Davion Mitchell. And for my motion style for defense, I put on De'Aaron Fox. So this is what I think the best guard build in the game. I think you can use it for every mode and be effective and be ball dominant. Uh, score heavy, obviously. You're going to be an offensive threat. Be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you would edit this build to make it better. And I hope you guys use it. And let me know, man. Peace.